What are you doing? This making half. That's not what you're supposed to do with the cupcake wrapper. Go throw that away. I don't want to. What you doing, Matt? Oh, I just washed a bunch of eggs. They were sitting underneath there for three days, I think. You're Maybe not fooling them. You just bought all those from the store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bought them from the store and then I wash them. <laughs> <laughs> Never satisfied. <laughs> the chickens are finally laying eggs. Yeah, 15 today. Well, when you let. How's it going, Eli? Good. <laughs> when you let them uh, build up for three days, 15 a day, maybe. No, they had 15 today. We got eggs yesterday. <laughs> 15 today, but it's also, it's warmer and it's getting, the sun's being out longer. Come on, I need to get to 40 degrees to get in the bees. On to your next task. Yeah, so now we had a birthday party this last weekend. So I am going to take the leftover pork, bag it up for another day so it doesn't go bad. Now, if you're asking, what's with turning the bag inside out like that? It's so none of the food gets on the edge for when it seals. Are you telling them or telling me? Both. <laughs> Voila, now you have pulled chicken butt. <laughs> it was pork, Matt. <laughs> I'm starting to shut the door for you. Oh yeah, on me. Wait. Oh. That is... This is my new dollhouse I got for my birthday and I like it. I want to open it in my room. Who gave it to you? Grandma and uh, your great grandma. Thank you, Auntie Emma and Auntie um, um, Kista. We finally got Lydia's castle all put together 
and that's all done. The kids all went off to bed for the night. And today, officially, I have all my seeds, including what I already had. All my seeds have come in the mail now. So I am so excited about this. I got some wonderful, exciting things. From Baker Creek, I ordered some marshmallow root. Marshmallow root. Um, this was something we had been purchasing for our dogs, so I thought, I'm gonna try to grow it. I mean, it was quite expensive actually, so um, something that I thought might help. And some pepperoncinis. One of the dishes we've been making a lot has pepperoncinis in it, and I think I'm gonna try my hand, if I can grow these, at canning them. I haven't had too much luck in pickling peppers, so I'm gonna give it another try and make sure I am doing it correctly, and hopefully this will be the year. From Seed Savers Exchange, I ordered four packs of King of the North peppers. These are our favorite bell pepper um, thus far. And from Johnny Seeds, I ordered some Patterson onions and some King Richard leeks. This will be our first year planting leeks if we find the space for them, so that's really exciting. And um, those were all pretty small orders. I also placed an order with MI Gardener, which is most of what I got. And my order from MI Gardener, I got eight packages of top crop green beans and eight packages of contender green beans. These are the two varieties we planted last year and we really um, liked both. We felt like they were pretty comparable, um, but I really like the idea of always planting two different kinds in case you're having an issue with one. I ordered three different types of carrots. We're pretty low on carrot seeds, so two packages of the Scarlet Nantes, two packages. We've done a couple of varieties of the Danvers ones, and these ones are Danvers 126. Um, two packages of the Rainbow Carrots, package of cilantro. That's important. Since cilantro seed's really easy to get, I just bought one package and hopefully I'll be better about saving seed this year. Spearmint, this is for my mojitos. Somebody did mention that there is an actual mint called mojito mint, but I couldn't quite find the seed, at least, at least not from anywhere I was ordering from. I might have been able to find some on Etsy, but it looked like more just the plants, so maybe I'll just, you know, buy a plant as it gets closer. I also bought two packs of um, the Mexican sour gherkin or the cucamelons for the kids. They asked for these around their greenhouse and they also asked if I could get them some peas. So I thought that was kind of funny. So I bought these um, spring blush peas because I thought they would be kind of easy for them to see as far as picking. So hopefully they can grow some around their um, little, did I say greenhouse? I meant fort. I'm not quite sure what I said. Their fort. They want to grow them up their fort. So that'll be kind of fun if they are able to do that. And then I ordered two packages of Italian large leaf basil. I've been having some trouble the last few years. My basil varieties just haven't been great and I really enjoy um, just basil in general but also making um, pesto and things like that and not having good basil has made that not possible. Um, they did send an extra pack it's a salad bowl mix, so that's really nice. A lot of seed companies send extra um, seeds, and my gardener sent some greens. A lot of my other orders are small, so I didn't expect to get anything else with them. And then I also ended up with an extra package of basil, which I will put to use. Um, every time I've ordered from MI Gardener, I've ended up with extra seed. Um, I've never had anything missed, but I've always ended up with extra seed, and I've reached out in the past, and they've always said either to grow them or pass them along, so um, we'll definitely put them to use, so I'm, I'm not even going to reach out at this point, but I'm so excited with all that, and then I did place an order because I really wanted to find the Italian heirloom tomatoes last year. I couldn't find them. I couldn't find them again this year. So I went on to Etsy and I found this company, Thomas Natural Roots, and I have not grown these seeds yet, but what I can say is I'm really impressed. They sent me a nice message on Etsy. They sent me a handwritten note with my um, stuff, and even though I only ordered two packages of tomato seeds, they sent a third package of another tomato variety, and I'm not sure I'm um, pronouncing this right, but it says, opaca tomato, opaca tomato. And so um, it looks like another kind of shorter seasoned tomato, I guess you could say. So I'm excited to give those a try. So that it was very nice of them. So so for my experience with them was really great. That was um, Tom.
Thomas Thomas's natural roots and I found them on Etsy when you type in names in Etsy there's no spaces so Thomas's natural roots um, but anyways I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and glad you got to see us again bye